And good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. We're going to try and do for the first time in a while a stream. Unfortunately, I've not been well over the last last week, so I do apologise for keeping you all waiting. But we are here. Oh, hang on a second. Right, let me try that again. So we're going to load, and then we have a save um, with... There we are. I was, looking for, I was looking for the save for Emily. So here we are. Emily's low chaos. And this is where we begin. So let's pick things up as we currently somehow on low chaos despite being seen and killed. So I want to try and change that. I want to try and make this a bit more hardcore. Okay, we are once more in ultra wide. The black bars on the screen sometimes is because of the way the... Am I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels odd. The door is blocked. We're not allowed out that. What is this place? Where am I? Ah. I can feel something moving closer. What? Empress Emily Caldwin. I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Ooh. And you were rescued by a man in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But someone yanked the rug from under your feet. You've lost your throne and your father. And I promise Delilah won't just give them back. So, what are you prepared to do about it? Your Imperial Majesty, and are you clever enough to do it without spilling a river of blood? I asked Corvo those questions 15 years ago. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn. So I can either do it a no powers mode or accept the outsider's offer. I am not good enough for this game to do it without powers. Let's accept the offer. It burns. I'm standing at the edge of something. All the stories, they're true. Incredible. Yep, yeah, she's now got some understanding as to who she is. Oh, and that's a fall. No matter, game's not going to kill us just yet, but it would seem. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. Ooh, creepy images. Very, very creepy. So the Sonic games are never wants to shy away from the bloodshed, have they? And now here. What is that? It feels familiar. Know you. Do you remember? It's been Ooh. so long. And you've been through, been through so, so much. much. Even as an, an echo of myself. It's good, good to know, know you're there. there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand and I will guide you when I can. Yes, so we now have the heart. So essentially, we can quit the heart in our left hand that allows us to locate bone charms or runes, and the heart begins to bleat and glow when we're facing a bone charm or a rune, and will beat faster as we get closer. And also, if we hold down the right button on the mouse, we will get weird secrets of particular locations. So for example, if we go back here, will it let me do it? Sky here. 
there is no sky. Yeah, just re-familiarizing myself with the controls. I've not played this game in a while. And as you can see, the heart is beating in our hands. As the rune is getting closer. Who is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. Those beautifully intricate designs. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes fawning sycophants of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. A much greater prize indeed, but we're here now to try and get ourselves further forward. When I was ten years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is stranger than I ever imagined. Everything I know has been turned on its head, but I'm dealing with it the best I can. When you look at the great jeweled map at Dunwall Tower, Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. A fat, red ruby. That's how I always thought of it. Up close, the city smells like the ocean and strange spices. Up close, it's a tangled story of blood an ambition, the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster is a stranger, but there's something that makes me want to trust her, despite her guarded disposition. She got me out of Dunwall, and I need answers. Delilah and the Duke make me look like a murderer, using the crown killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back. So I'll always remember the ending of the original Dishonored with um, Emily going, Am I going to be Empress? And now, of course, she's not an Empress. She's now an assassin. That's going to make things interesting, to say the least. And here's her travel log. We're starting a new year. Maybe 1852 will be less boring than 1851. I can't wait for Wyman to get back to Dunwall. We'll go to the abandoned mansion I discovered the other night, at the edge of Rootshore. Maybe I'll have time to turn it into a scary haunted house beforehand, using sheets and hiding an old audiograph upstairs. Wyman would love that. We'll get spooked and hold hands, screaming and laughing. Come on, Emily. You promised me more serious and listen to court and you're already planning your next escape. Let's start this diary again. Proposals for a new decree on whale oil rationing and distribution. The anniversary. The time of year again. The anniversary of my mother's death. There's no real time for reflection, though. It's all security protocols, menus, guest lists, and it's impossible to slip out at night. I feel like a caged bird. They've already got me memorized in this year's speech. It's endless. Would it be so terrible if I just said I, what I remember about her? That wink she gave me, even as she was scolding me, after I was caught climbing the statue of my grandfather? The sound of her footsteps as she paced at night. The time we shared a cabin on a boat trip to Driscoll. Or the time she agreed to let Carvo teach me to fish. But then I had to pull a hook from my arm. Now that would be a speech. My father is lost. Turned to stone by Delilah. Those words don't even seem real. Witchcraft. It's something I never believed would have believed possible. But now I have to believe in it. So I can believe that it can be undone. 
Delilah claims to be my aunt, the rightful heir. Truth or lies? All I know is that she used magic to take my throne, aided by that weasel, Ju Bell. They must have been working their plan for years, buying the slaughter with promises. Even Ramsay, captain of the city watch, planning in everyone's mind the idea that my father and I could be responsible for those monstrous killings, that one or both of us were the crown killer. I'm not in a trusting mood, but Megan Foster says she knows Anton Sokolov, our old royal physician, and she helped me escape the coup, so she's all I have right now. We're sailing for Sukunos. My Domwell, my home, is no longer safe for me. But I never really was safe. I never really will be. The sooner I get that through my skull, the better. This time it wasn't a dream. I've read about the Void and the Outsider, imagined them. Now I've seen their wonders for myself. Strange doesn't begin to cover it. The Outsider has terrible eyes. Black on black. He offered me something. I know these gifts come with a price, but how can I refuse? This power might give me the edge I need to defeat Delilah and Duke Bell. I'll worry about paying the cost later. And what price will I pay for this is other gift? My mother's beloved voice, trapped in the strangest contraption. It is both discomforting and chilling to be able to talk to her again. And yet... It's not entirely the person I knew anymore. This thing, the heart, it's there and not there. I have to focus in a new way to even see it. We've arrived at the southernmost tip of the empire. Strange fragrances all around, salt, fish, spice. I don't know how to blend in here. I don't know what to eat or where to go. But this is where my father was born. So part of me belongs here too. And these are my people. Or well, they were until my throne was stolen by Delilah. I'm coming for you, Delilah. With my new powers. All I need now is a plan. Let's say, Emily's, Emily's voice is very distinctive and completely different to any voice I have. I understand that completely. But that's just the way it goes. <clears throat> Is there anything back here to find? It's not what you're used to, living in a palace, but this is all the coin I could scrape up. Anton and I operate on a tight budget, and guess what? Now you do too. If it's not beneath you, pick up whatever valuables you find along your way. We'll need ammo and resources to take down the people behind the coup. Hidden all over the city, there are underground black market shops. Look for a symbol depicting two hands, which means there's a shop nearby. Follow the signs, they'll guide you. Buying from the black market is against the law, but it could make the difference against the Duke's military. Sokolov was working on this crossbow as a gift for you. If you need it mounted, those shops can help with that as well. Megan. So there we go, the crossbow. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally pressed the wrong key. So that's one of my, that's one of my bolts wasted. Yep, so these are all the things that need to be done for the insides. The door's blocked, but we can find a way into it, I'm sure. Yep, she's um, having a bit of a smoke and taking it nice and easy. Just in case there's anything hidden behind the can, you never know. Anton, your idea of improving the head's gasket sealing with a guano coating is the worst you've ever had. I'll make you sleep in the engine room if you don't fix your mess by tomorrow. Megan, 
If all inventors were as delicate and short tempered as you, you and I would be still paddling around in carved out logs. Megan, I made some mulberry cake. It's my own recipe, improved by Tivian spices left in the galley. Anson, where are you, you old fool? I hope nobody hurts you. I'll find you. I swear. I miss you. <coughs> so that's the first sign of the um, things I'm dealing with with my illness, by the way, people. So I do apologize for the sound of that. Is there anything else hidden down here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, so let's climb on top of the engine. I mean, to be fair, you can get quite un on top of unusual things in this game. I've always liked the explosion. Exploration you have. Ah, oh, that's the bathroom we were just in a moment ago. So, before we go talking to Megan Foster, let's go and take a look out on the main areas. And this is where I'd the like of the south. My father's birthplace. Oh, check it out. There appears to be a rune buried in the water. Excellent, thank you. So let's go and grab it. I'm being attacked by something. I don't know what. Well, I got the room, but ow, that hurt. I've lost half my health. So that's the East End Flug approach. Interesting, so Emily actually has a, has a frost attack. That's pretty awesome. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's a very different fighting style to Carvo, because obviously I played this game live on the Carvo route. with Anton Sokolov. He made so many clever devices during my mother's time. Does an old man enjoy his last years in a warmer climate with good wine and spicy foods, without stumbling into another nest of aristocratic vipers eager to coil around the heart of this empire? As I've learned more each week for months now, I've found my mind turning, turning over the movements beneath the surface here in Kanaka. Duke Luca Abel and some inner circle that even seems to include Captain Mortimer Ramsay of the Dunwall City Watch. A betrayal that boggles the mind. How many others are involved? They aim their venom at our dear Empress young Emily. That much is certain, but when will they strike and how? Do I dare spend another month gathering stray bits of esoteric information, linking it together with what little we already know? Can we even afford another week? Or should I, Megan and I, set out for Gristle tonight, taking this leaky tub up through the canal? 
Corval will not hesitate. He will act as soon as I hand over what I know. And if I am too hasty, it might be his undoing. Coming home to his native Sakonos without some critical piece of information about it's the bear. And then there's the crown killer to worry about. If that fiend is part of Duca Bell's schemes, as I suspect, how long until the dreadful whale catches the Duke's eye? I've wondered whether I have another book in me. The Bloodfly Academic. Coupled with basic information on natural life cycle and behavior, might make an excellent project for this old natural philosopher. Bloodflies are exotic insects, unlike anything else found in Sokonos. I suspect they originated on the Pandician continent. In groups of three or fewer, they are harmless. Individuals won't attack, leading me to speculate that each emits a scent that has a collective effect on larger numbers of bloodflies. Bloodflies are attracted to rapid movement and sound. Their nests can be broken apart, scattering the swarm, and in particular the nests are quite susceptible to fire. The insects require fresh corpses to lay their eggs, which hatch in breath taking fashion. After a very short time, more corpses in a Sakonan city, say during a crisis or plague, mean more bloodflies. Interestingly, in the last part of a bloodfly's life cycle, they calm a great deal. Leaving the swarm, they molt, causing the wings to drop off. Afterward, each bloodfly lives a solitary existence. Very odd. Bloodflies are largely restricted to the south, preferring warmer climates, like certain aging natural philosophers. So yes, good old Anton Sokolov. Oh, what, what the hell? I think I, hurt, I think I hit the door on myself then. Still, at least I managed to avoid killing myself in my door. For those of you who watched the um, live stream of this game, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It featured one of the most boggling game overs I've ever seen. Why is this here? It's Delilah. Anton started it just before he was taken. They've got history. But he wouldn't say more. I see. Someone's been playing cards here. And it's not a game of solitaire either. <coughs> you're when you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. Oh, don't worry. I'll know. On the effects of the winds of the Karnakan landmass and resulting economic positions, whale oil, liquid power, how astonishing that within those beasts, inside the oil harvested along their flesh, was enough power to see the isles through these tumultuous years, and it all seemed limitless. But now the lights begin to dim. Our fisher folks say the greater beasts are increasingly rare. Not all places will suffer this loss equally. Fellow natural philosophers, Kanaka has a unique feature, the cleft in Shindare Peak, through which the winds are channeled and amplified. As whale oil begins to run short, with the cost of finding the remaining leviathans escalating beyond the worth of the oil itself, Kanaka will find itself ascendant among the isles. Yep, so basically, this company, this country went green before it became cool. I was hoping to find some fresh... F ah! There we go. That's my, that's my health bag. Go on then, Megan. For two weeks. I hope Sokolov is alright. Wherever he is. Alright. You've explained part of it, but what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. I didn't give it much mind. 
Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. Okay, so... <clears throat> Only when we're ready. So before we do that, I want to quickly go exploring on the outside of the boat. Purely because there might be some more things to unlock. Yeah, this is the upper area, and what's at the top of the boat? I knew there'd be something up here. Oh, ah, so that's just a load of a load of a load of information on what they've been buying. Unless you care about finances, we're not bothering with that. Dunwall seems so far away. Yeah. I'll come back soon, Father. I promise. Ah, that's it. Yeah, look, look, look at, look at the wonderful low res nature of the um, digits when you go zoomed in, which isn't beyond the bounds of um, realism. Actually, when you when you start to examine something from a long way, through a long lens, it does get blurrier. Now, what I'm looking for. Is any way down to that room? So I have seen it before as a way, I just can't remember how I did it. Because there's a sealed room. And I believe you can actually sneak in from one of the sides. In fact, it might be here. Yes, there we go. There we are. Oh, we've got an optional mission. Open the carry open the cabin door. And that has more importantly not only got us that power up, but there's this book here. At dawn I set out with the group that foraged east and concluded two other natural philosophers and four crewmen. We used blades to clear the vegetation that grew thickly here, and slowly made our way up the shore from a steep incline. Our purpose was to gather samples of the native plants for our research journals. I found myself pressing leaves and stems between pages and taking copious notes on several species of flora I surmised no human had ever set eyes on previously. When suddenly Mr. Gravit from the academy began hopping about and screaming wildly. Chance had made him pick up an unfortunate place to step. Aggressive ant-like creatures swarmed him from below. So many in number were his tiny attackers, that we quickly lost sight of him under their onslaught. We finally managed to pull Gravit from the insects, acquiring several painful welts where we had come to his aid. 
Mr. Gravit, however, was bitten, or stung as I would eventually discover, so many times he was barely recognizable, swollen unto deformity, over every inch of his person, moaning like a sick bull. He expired before we could carry him back to the beach. Luckily, some of the creatures still clung to him, providing me with precious samples. Yeah, so he's dead, but at least I got my samples to work with, so it's all fine. So here we go. Ready for me to drop you at the docks. Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. Yes, Emily with her half face mask rather than the Carvo full face mask. Take you to Adamire by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca of Elton, I love how the water's going he through the boat here. Wealth out of the city as fast as he could. <coughs> Orgies and week-long feasts. Having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. Yep. I'll keep my head down. The rendering of the water is um, going over the boat. It's a very old school style. Take out the crown but then again, this game is eight years old. Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Ademire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. So right now we are in we are in neutral territory, so we don't want to do too much. I don't think it's supposed to fester like that. That little pus is all right, but this mind on the way. Help you on to a path. Now. Let us be lost here That's Adermeyer in the distance. Yeah, I'm, I'm having not sorry. Maybe a little more. Now, and then of course you can lock on to any, any particular charm you like as well. So the little radar, if you look in, you can see where you got the bone charm there, for instance. And they all have little brackets to say how long they're going to be. Just don't forget about me. <coughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Hey! Your face is covered. Trust me, but your brain guard won't like sure that. I don't want to be sure there aren't any of those filthy grubs in my steak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing all that voice waiting. Simple as that. It tastes like shoe leather, but it's better than eating blood <sighs> pile larva. Am I right? I only buy meat if I see the animal killed in front of me. And I cook it right away. Now that's another solution. Now, I miss the days when you could look at a dinner plate without having nightmares. When you could look at a dinner plate without having nightmares, eh? Why does she want that apartment? Another day like Dust everywhere. Day. No matter what you get up for good. First all, you gotta open the bowl. Another you know, day like that. While he's relieving himself, steal his money. Hello there. There is no longer any doubt that the recently unseated Empress, Emily Caldwin, is responsible for the recent string of horrible murders. The former monarch is on the run, 
confirming our suspicions about her guilt and association with the Crown Killer. Indeed, some have even suggested that Emily herself committed the appalling crimes, but as, as it is well known, she was raised by conspirators and murderers. The Grand Sakonan Guard has promised rewards for any information leading to an arrest, and warns the fugitive will be shot on sight if spotted. Duke Abel recently stated that the former Empress will likely receive a fair trial as she turns herself in peacefully and forthwith. A fair trial, my ass. Oh, check it out. You know that was supposed to go to what are we supposed nah, to do? Not this. So it says here we can acquire new powers because we've got these um, things available. We can actually upgrade. So that, like, if a fall we have time slowed as we're in farm reach. Oh, and we have this one. Which allows us to pull objects. Can't get access, we've not got enough power yet. Assume a stealthier walk. Summon the void. Dark vision, which allows us to see better in the dark. To be honest, that's actually very useful. Dark vision is always welcome. So we are now exploring Sakonos. <coughs> I'll eat some free jelly deals. But yes, we need to get aboard the station in order to be able to get to the next area. There's a body in here. <coughs> Someone else has been killing people. Oh dear. What's all the fuss? Oh, I think I'm happens. gonna have to oh right, okay, yep, yeah. so we are now in the next area. It's looking for me. It might pay to be discreet. I warned you. Right. Please, you get Apologies, Peach, to go out very quickly pop away, pop away here. Because I am feeling a little for low sauce. One second. Right, apologies, people. <sighs> so, it's too late for that, Rapallo. Guess what happens next? This is how we get rid of snitching. Remember, if anyone asks, we just ran through it. Yeah, we couldn't stop him. 
<laughs> Stay here. I'll just check what that was. Stop! You aren't going anywhere. You hide no, your you face, coward. No, you ready? The wall of light from the time of the lab plague. So, oh. you said these people couldn't be stopped, say. Hey? Do you mean like this? I didn't realise it. It was looking right through the bars on me. It was only the last second I realised. I went, oh, bugger, too late, bang. No, give me the money. Stop closing the cash register, Emily. I want the cash. Okay, then, so let's get looking. Captain Mitello, if that engineer comes back to service the windmill, do not go up the ladder to throw the shut off lever for her. It's not your job, and I won't have my squad taking risks like that for another department. They're not Grand Guard. If the lead engineer is afraid of heights, it's her problem. How she expects to work on the windmills, I mean, not to climb up the shut off, I have no idea, but I don't care. Good brother Harold, last week when we talked, oh what a state I was in. It was good of you to take me aside and lend me your advice. I have taken it to heart and I know you are correct. Yes, I will need to be purified through ritual. Oh, what a road I have ahead of me. I know it well, for you may not know, but I have endured the ritual once before, but three years ago... Though I was young and strong, I came within an inch of death. If I may impose upon you once again, would you be so kind as to not mention our conversation to anyone? I will arrange for the ritual, of course, very soon. Though I confess, ever since our talk, I feel much better. No comparison to that agitated state in which you found me. Peace and clarity have returned to me. Truly, I do feel better. In all things, Brother Chester. Meanwhile. Oh, my.
Karnaka was a lovely city once. Before the dew began choking the life out of the place. Before the crown killer started painting the walls red. Now you're here. And I have to wonder whether you're gonna give it that final nudge. Or pull it back from the edge. We've both seen cities go bad before. Vermin, blood, and betrayal. It's happening again. I hope you're ready. Not a bad find. Oh. I'm stealing that. <clears throat> so this is why in Dishonored what I've always liked is you're encouraged to be like, you know, really moving forward and always encouraged to explore. Because you can find a lot of good stuff Move if you along. we're conducting a search for heretical artifacts. What? Here? Listen, I only This need area to... is restricted on the authority of the Abbey. No one is allowed inside. Oh. Oh. Trouble sleeping again last night. Maybe I ought to try one of those sleeping tinctures. They can be kind of pricey. That's right, you can rot. Ah. Turns out I walk right past it. So bone charms are minor supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening for the song they emit. By default, you can activate to five bone charms in the bone charms section of the journal. So right now we don't have any equipped, so we can now put Swiss Shadow, which means movement is slightly faster in stealth mode. Which is good. We want that. And so there's the look of how Emily is keeping her identity hidden. It's not the best disguise, really, that is when you think about it. I imagine she has very distinctive eyes. I think my body, my, game, my controls seem to have like some kind of automatic run engaged. Because no matter what I did, she was like... Even when I was holding down crouch, I was still running. remember it being this hard to breathe <laughs> yeah I mean that, that's an indication the, the country's gone got a bit off the deep end when people are finding it hard to breathe right I want to go on the other side well there is a wall of light Grand Guard won't like that I don't care about the Grand Guard. The Grand Guard can kiss my can kiss my rear end. Oh, what the? Ugh. I wasn't paying attention then. No, stop it! I think mean, it's because I'm reacting too quickly. But that's what the problem is. Looks like I found a route past. That's another way. I think I've got a different route to the one that most people go through. There is another route that involves the blood fly, and I haven't done that one. Well, there's More a guard. Grand Guard soldiers, best to avoid. What wouldn't I give for a bottle of Parasota? 
Maybe best to avoid, but that wouldn't be fun. I always get these shifts. I bet a week's wages this is the worst assignment. Huh? Huh? Where did you disappear to? Oh, what's the matter? Have you found somebody dead? I'll find you, I swear. <laughs> Will you? Uh. Well, your shirt might reek, but at least you're still alive. Unlike the other guy who I just shot in the head. Pilgrimages. It is the uh, sorry story of a man, most high within the abbey, who was banished during the rat plague. His name may not be spoken, and all written record of his existence has been erased. So grave were his errors. To fall from the pinnacle. Of Yes, this is very much a try and get through the game as lazily as possible kind of approach. So I do apologize if there are periods of intense silence as I do all I can to concentrate, succeed. Now, the question is, I can go over there. Okay, that's useful. I told Miss Lucia Pastor that they wouldn't let us take the carriage. Adamire is closed to the public. We'll have to try again. We have to see Dr. Hypatia. They don't let anyone see her anymore. Not even people who need urgent treatment. If we tell them that we represent Lucia Pastor and the Miner's Family Committee, they can't. Adamire Station? No one ever goes out there anymore. Or rarely. I could transfer you to the dust district if you're looking for action, Sergeant. No thanks, but no, that's not what I'm saying. Why do we even need Grand Guard personnel Adam, here? station. This should take me out to the Institute. That's all I was told. We know how it works. Right. We just carry out your orders. I get it. But it seems weird. Sleepy little place like the Institute. <laughs> Now we're all on edge. J K Elemental E Q Arrest U and V Double V X Y Z and Z. Now I got my buttons. Tell me what you think of me. Shit! Hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> I know you're here somewhere. Let's have a look. Oh, 
tires. End of the road for you. Can't stay hidden forever. What? Gotta be on the lookout. It could be the end of the road for me, but guess what? It isn't. I mean, it wasn't exactly the smoothest way to get out of that mission, must be said. But well, here we are, riding on the rails. And so that is the end of the an end of the world mission. And you can see here that we didn't kill any Serbs, but we did kill 10 hostiles, so we weren't merciful. Four bodies were detected, and over there were we were detected ourselves six times. So it wasn't exactly a big one, but you can see right in the middle there, overall chaos level high. Yes, we have a high chaos route. In terms of our rewards, I mean, look at this. We only found one of four paintings. We didn't get any of the blueprints, didn't get any of the bone charms, any of the... We found both the outsider shrines, though, which was good. And we found six of the ten runes, so there was a lot of loot we missed. But we, in the end, what we wanted to do was have some real fun with that. So, on that note, we are going to say farewell for there. And hopefully, I'll bring you another one of these very soon. It's been too long.